Hey guys, Craig Z96 here, back with some more Human Resource Machine. Let's go. The littlest number. Alrighty, so I haven't played this game in a little while, so let's see if I'm rusty. To reduce our carbon footprint, management is requesting the smallest numbers only. This is a public relations exercise. The results are going straight to the landfill. For each zero terminated string in the inbox, send the smallest outbox. Send to the outbox only the smallest number you've seen in that string. You will never be given an empty string. So, inbox. Um, okay. Inbox copy to zero, copy to one. Then I want to go inbox and then subtract zero. So all right, we subtract the zero. So if it's, oh no, if it's negative, we want to, wait a second. Mm. This is hard. How did I do the zero terminated sum? So I can do that. Okay. So I have my zero terminated something. Let's jump of zero. Outbox. Okay. Let's see what you gotta say. <laughs> oh, brother. Okay. Yo, inbox. Shoot. So basically what that's saying is inbox, copy it to zero. Inbox again. If it's zero, it's the end of the string. So we copy from zero and go to outbox. That logic is undeniably the same. But now, instead of that, we want to copy to one. Then we can, instead of add zero, sub zero. And then if it's negative, I don't think that's gonna do it.
Right, okay. Hmm. I think this is gonna be one of them pause times where I sit here and work it out for like 20 minutes. So, incoming jump cut. Jump cut. Okay, guys. I am returned it. I was on the right track first. I decided to think about it and flush it out some more. So, Ivbox, you copy that. I gave them tags so I knew what the hell was going on. So you copied that. Whatever that is, is currently your smallest number because it's the first number. And you go back to inbox. If it's a zero, you're going to jump down here, copy from small and outbox because that's the end. If it's not a zero, you're going to add to this one, which I've labeled compare. That's a comparison. And you're going to subtract small. If it's negative, that means compare is smaller. So you're going to copy from compare to small. It's not negative you're gonna go back up here go back to the inbox repeat until you get a negative so when you get a negative it's gonna copy from compare to small and add to the new smallest number and finally if you inbox and get a zero it's gonna jump all the way down it's gonna copy from smallest number and then it's gonna go to outbox so as you can see hmm hmm Bloop. Knows it's the smallest, so it goes boop. And yeah. Yay! Except I didn't make any of the challenges. I don't care. Mod module. Oh no, do they want me to do modulus? How many hours of work can you fit in one day? Not enough. Always a sad remainder of unworked hours. Good thing we have these optional night shifts to cram in more. So it wants me to do modulus. Okay. Let's get labeling. Start and dividend. My inbox. Copy start. Inbox. Copy to dividend. So we wanna so can I subtract the floor from what you're holding. So we wanna copy from start and then subtract dividend. So if we do that and get a zero, we just want to go to the outbox. Okay, and we want to create a remainder. So you want to subtract that and then copy it to the remainder. If the remainder is zero, we jump it right to the out box. If it's not zero, go back to here. But 
if we do that and it becomes a negative, once we go down here, wait a second. So if it's negative, we don't want to copy it to remainder. If it's negative, we want to jump and copy from remainder and jump to start it again. I think that's right. So seven divided by two. So we do that and that gives us five. So we copy that to remainder. Gives us three, copy it to remainder. Gives us one, copy it to remainder. Gives us negative one, copy from remainder, out box. I think I did it. I think that's how I. That's how you do a modulus without actual division. <laughs> Boom. Boop. Boom. Bloop. Oh, how am I gonna handle the zero? That'll fix it. Yeah. There we go. Did modulus. Didn't meet the challenges? I don't care. Cumulative countdown. And there's the purpose of this assignment. Something you know, calculating volume beneath staircases. Let's put the emperor in somewhere. Fibonacci sequence. Fast stairwell. If you take the elevator, nice of you to show up. <laughs> Alright, for each thing in the inbox outbox, the sum of itself plus all numbers down to zero. I feel like we've done this. Inbox. Copy to start. Now we want a running total. Now we want to copy that to running sum. A bump down start to running sum negative we just want to copy from running sum out box If it's zero, actually, no. Hmm. Let's just see how that runs. Try that now.
I'm gonna run some. And then you gotta copy it to the running sum. So now you go boop. Mm hmm. Boop. Mm hmm. Boop. Mm hmm. Boop. Boop. Let's see how it handles a zero. Handles it well, apparently. If I need one less command, I can get rid of that jump of zero. I can crush that. Hmm, okay. Okay. Continue the elevator. Let's take a look at small divide. Told you you didn't need the divide. Well, now you get to. <laughs> Practice copying and pasting. I agree. The mod module. So if it's zero, we want to copy, copy from count. If it's negative, we also want to copy from count. Because if neither of those conditions are true, we want to bump up count. Let's try it. Plink. Plink. Okay. Sub it. Pump count. Oh, shoot. So when we bump count, we then want to copy from remainder again. Let's try that again. <laughs> I forgot that bump gives it to us. So we go blink. Count gets bumps. It's a negative, so we go count and do that. step here, but we gotta make that a so we're gonna copy from count to zero. I don't want to 
want to copy from zero to count. Now it's working. And this is going to be my last one for this video. Actually, we'll get Midnight Petroleum so we can get through the checkpoint, I guess. So here, I'll give you some inputs that cause your solution to fail. Shoot. If it's zero, if it's zero, we want to bump count. I think it works now. I don't think I changed anything except making it work. Yay! Not even close. Hmm, not too bad. Let's burn that Midnight Petroleum. And then we'll call it an episode. She's seen some things. She's seen some things. That's freaky. Uh-oh. wonder what happens when we reach the end of this game. We'll find out in time. We're kind of close, though. But uh, that is where we will call it an episode. So, like the video if you liked it, dislike it. If you didn't like it, leave a comment down below telling me how I was stupid and could have done Xcode better, whatever. Like to, you know, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out the rest of the guys at bigboxgamers.com. And as always, I will see you guys next time. Peace!